In today's video, we compare the specs and hardware of the Xbox Scarlet and the PlayStation 5, and then on top of that, we've got some other secret awesome stuff, so let's get right into it. Here we go, back at it yet again with another video. G'day guys, I'm Champ Chong, and if you've noticed, I've actually been gone for a few days, less uploads, and the reason for that is, well, um, yeah, I, I ended up at the hospital because, well, I can't walk right now. It, it really sucks. Like, seriously, uh, look at my leg right now. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. So, um, I cannot walk right now and uh, probably won't for another week without like any help or anything like that. I've actually got crutches, so I kind of have to use these everywhere I go or otherwise I fall over. So if my hair isn't uh, perfect in this video, you probably know why, because I have to balance on one leg to even put any wax in my hair. But anyway, um, the, the way I did it was I was playing basketball, running backwards, and then I turned direction to make a cut to the basket and I just fell straight to the ground, felt it pop, and I've torn my calf. So, yeah, I, I can't walk now. I have to rehab it for the next, like, six weeks or something like that, probably longer, and it really sucks. So if you guys want to make me feel just a little bit better, uh, please smack the like button, as always. Just smack it real good. And, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I feel awful even asking for those likes, but I've felt even worse over the last few days because um, I want to be able to walk and it sucks not being able to. But anyway, what I can still do is make some videos for you guys in this video today. Sorry to take so long to get into it. It's about the Xbox 2 or whatever you want to call it, the Xbox Project Scarlet and the PlayStation 5, the PS5. And we're going to take a look at the hardware that we kind of know about so far and what we've learned from E3 just, just last week uh, with Xbox Microsoft revealing some specs and details here and there and some more information regarding the console and then what we've actually heard from Sony over the past few months, even to last year. And uh, we're gonna compare that stuff in this video. So let's take a look at pretty much what we know so far. So you guys can see on screen right here, it's a side-by-side -side of the PlayStation 5 and the Project Scarlet, the Xbox 2, whatever you wanna call it, because it doesn't officially have a name just yet, just has a project name. So you can see it right here. The CPU, the CPU specs, the GPU, the GPU specs, the RAM, the storage, the video output, the ray tracing, they both have it. Disk drive, yes, they will both have it. They're not gonna be. Uh, all digital consoles next gen and then backwards compatibility details and the launch date So you can see there's quite a lot here now. Not everything here is final. Not everything here is official This is actually coming from internal sources and on top of that Obviously some of the stuff here is official It's coming from Microsoft themselves and then there's the chip manufacturers out there also revealing information regarding the next gen systems So basically this is just a mix-up of everything that we do know so far some of these things will change however. Now the clear thing I want to point out right here is the CPU specs. You can see the 3.2 to 3.4 and that right there is still questionable. That's why there is a question mark at the end. We still don't know if this will be final but it looks like the Project Scarlet will be possibly more powerful but then again you never really really know. Again this isn't final but look at the GPU. They're both using different custom AMD Radeon Navi systems. So that's really cool right there. I think that's very important to look at because on paper, it's like, oh, they're both custom AMD chips. But the thing is, they're probably going to be slightly different from each other. But at the end of the day, they're still going to be very, very similar because, well, the actual developers out there need to make games that are multi-platform and they need to be able to port them over to one to the other very simple. So that's why they're both using custom AMD chips. Now, this is where things do change just a little bit. Uh, you can see right here the GPU specs. That's, that's part of the GPU, the custom. So you can see it right there on paper. It's still very, very similar. I, I don't know if I'd give the edge to one or the other because it, it all comes down to the operating system, how it's all going to play out, how it's all going to run. So uh, let's move on to the RAM. Pretty much identical. You can see right there too. But again, they do actually output some for the actual operating system itself. So that is important to note down. Then onto the storage end of things. So a lot of people have been excited that they will be using SSDs. So you can see right there, there will be an SSD with a possible hard drive, an actual like terabyte to two terabytes on either system, depending on what they finalize with pricing and all that stuff, which we will get to the pricing stuff later. But uh, moving on to the video output, both are gonna go up to 4K 
and then 8K for playback. So 4K, 120 hertz, so 120 frames but 8K playback potentially right there. Then ray tracing, both are gonna have it. If you don't know what ray tracing is, I cannot really explain it, but it is going to give you much, much better fluidity in your game. It's what all the Nvidia graphics cards have these days, so you need to have it. But anyway, this is another thing. Disk drive, obviously both are going to have it right there. Uh, they're not going to be all digital systems, which is a godsend. Thank you to both uh, Xbox and PlayStation for not making them all digital. That'd be a stupid move, maybe in 10 years. I don't know, but not right now. Anyway, backwards compatibility. This is where I really, really like that the Xbox side of things has a tiny bit of an edge, but it depends how you look at things. So the Xbox side of things, obviously, you'll be able to play your Xbox One games, your Xbox 360 games, and your original Xbox games on here. So you'll be able to get them physically and digitally, most likely all digital, really, uh, for the older, older games, because it's very hard to find those games. But that's awesome that you can go back every single Xbox on the Xbox side of things. However, on the PlayStation side of things, you can't have the PS3, PS2, PS1, but that will be part of their service, I'm pretty sure. That they will still offer that differently, but PS4 games will run natively just like you did previously. Then you just put it into the PS5, however. But then the cool part that the PlayStation obviously has an edge on, which is that it will have the PlayStation VR support. So if you do have a PS VR, that'll be simply moving over and you'll just be able to plug it into your PS5 after using it on your PS4 and vice versa. So that right there is awesome that the PS VR is backwards compatible and it won't just go into the bin after this generation. Now, the launch date is very interesting right here. So to note down, uh, you can see November 2020 and holiday 2020. So we don't know the official release dates just yet, guys. Um, it's, it's up in the air, really. But we do know they will be around that holiday 2020 period. Most likely November, December, depending on when they decide to launch. So they're most likely going to be within a week of each other. It would be insane if they launch within days of each other, like three or four days. But I'm guessing a week or two difference. I'm not sure who will go first. Last time, if I remember correctly, with the Xbox One and the PS4, uh, it was the PlayStation that came out second, if I remember, but I actually don't really remember too correctly. But it doesn't matter. Both are coming out in about 18 months or so. Less, actually, if you really think about it. So that's crazy. It's, it's only a year and a half away. I can't wait for that. But the prices, let's talk about the prices. Actually, just before we talk about the prices and before we actually get to the end of the video, um, I am going to be unboxing, I guess, or unwrapping something. You've probably noticed in the background at the start of the video, it is that right there. Xbox sent me something. So yeah, we're going to take a look at whatever's in there. I don't know. I've kind of peeled it open. You can just see that. And I tried to take a look, but I really couldn't see anything. So anyway, uh, the prices of the system. So the rumored price for both the Xbox 2, Scarlet, whatever you want to call it, and the PlayStation 5 has been about 499 American dollars. So that's roughly about seven or 800 Australian, so somewhere around that price. I'm not too sure about that, but it is quite a big price. Like it is quite expensive. It is a pretty good system though, both of them. Um, but there has been an update. So according to inside analyst sources, you can see right here, it's going to be potentially 399 for both. That's amazing. 399 US dollars. So to think about that price at 399, you're basically paying the same price you would for an Xbox one X or a PS4 pro. That is just awesome right there. So they're not going to maybe jump to that, but at the same time, I I don't know. It's it's wild to think that they're the same price as what we're getting right now with the top end consoles. But in a year and a half from now, we'll get that. With all the hardware that's going to be in here, it's going to be wild to see how this does actually perform on the business end of things because they need to make money. And I'm pretty sure they'll be selling at a loss like crazy. And I know that Microsoft has actually said it, uh, Phil Spence himself, they don't care about making money or anything like that. They want to just create an awesome like an established community and do things like that. And I'm pretty sure PlayStation want to do the same thing. They took a big loss on prices with the PS4. They, they didn't make too much money, but they ended up actually making a lot because they jumped into the community and a lot of people were like, well, we're going to get into this because it was cheap. And then on top of that, compared to the PS3, they needed to do that because the PS3 was like $1,000 back in the day, Australian, if you remember that, that was nuts. But it's, it's crazy because it's going to definitely come down to 
if they can actually sell these things without losing way too much money and they're gonna have to bank on their games. So Halo, that's all we really know about next gen. There's probably gonna be a few more and then older games obviously ported over or maybe just backwards compatibility. We're not sure exactly how everything is going to go down, but what we are sure about is that I'm no longer gonna talk about that in this video. That's pretty much done there. We are gonna get to this right here. This is something Xbox sent me. I have no idea what it is. All right, so Xbox sent me uh, this. Uh, I don't know what's in here. And uh, let's, let's actually just tear it open. So I got an email actually the other day. They were like, hey, uh, we've sent you something. Has it arrived? And I replied, no. And then it arrived today and it's like, it's a Sunday. So I have no idea. Okay, oh, okay. So, um, I think it's something to do with Metro Exodus. Okay, this is interesting. So the Xbox Australia New Zealand team sent me this and they've actually sent me three months of Xbox Game Pass to give away. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let me let me see uh, exactly what's in here. Let me open this up right now. Sorry guys, Look, I'm trying to do this one-handed, one-legged. Um, this is this is not easy. Um, so we've got some cool stuff like this. So some postcards, it says best wishes. That's pretty cool. The next one says, hold on, just arrived. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Oh, I'm, I'm getting the picture. So this one says, uh, welcome, and it's Forza Horizon 4. Uh, Gears of War 4, it says greetings. So th this is pretty cool. And then you've got greetings from Halo 5 Guardians. So that right there is pretty awesome. So thank you to the Xbox team for those uh, little postcards. But this is where it's at. So let's get right into this um let me get rid of this brown protective paper and uh open this up Ooh, is this upside down no it goes sideways okay so it's a landscape picture it's all bubble wrapped and i'm surprised it didn't break well it's actually maybe breaking apart right now hold on i gotta fix this before okay i'm gonna have to figure this out okay so here we are look at that that is beautiful look at that oh thank you to Xbox is sending me this. You can see down here it says, I don't know how well you guys can see that, Xbox One X Enhanced. And then you got Visit Xbox Metro Exodus. So wait, there it is. You guys, I don't know how well you can see that. But um, I've actually got to like fix this top part here. I'm not going to try to do it on video, otherwise I'll probably break it. But this could be nice to maybe hang in the background. It's got a nice little look to it. It's a pretty nice little uh, thing right there, the Caspian. And uh, yeah, uh, Metro Exodus on Xbox One X. Yeah, cool, awesome. Thanks Xbox, I appreciate that. I'm gonna put that over to the side right now. And uh, yeah guys, <sighs> um, I'm gonna get my crutches on and uh, whoop, I'm gonna get out of here. This is essentially me trying to get to the 10 minute mark. I'm probably already there. Whoa, that's what happens when one foot just drags and it ends up uh, yeah. Uh, all right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. If I don't fall over. <laughs> see you guys. This sucks.